So what is human existence? How can you actually sum it up? It turns out it's really pretty simple. We are dead stars looking back up at the sky. Everything you are, I mean literally the iron in your blood, comes from the instant before a star dies. You know, you cut yourself and you see that red from that, that oxygenated hemoglobin. And um, that was the instant of a death of a solar system. The universe began with only the element hydrogen, the very, very simplest atom that exists. And the only thing in the universe that can make a bigger atom is a star. The entire periodic table, every element you've ever heard of, was processed inside the body of a star. And that star then unraveled or exploded. And here we are. All a star is, is a dust cloud that is collapsing under the force of gravity. That's it. And when you compress gas together, it actually heats up. There's a time when that's hot enough to set off a nuclear fusion reaction. And that actually supports the star. This, this nuclear explosion inside supports the star against further collapse. But that nuclear fusion reaction is using fuel. It's using hydrogen. And so eventually that will burn out and the collapse of gravity will keep going. In the case of a more massive star, the gravity crushes ever more and more tightly. Things get hotter inside. You create things like carbon and oxygen and nitrogen. And so finally you get to the element iron fuses iron together, and instead of energy coming out, energy is actually absorbed, and the core of the star collapses. And that sets off the most violent, brilliant reaction we know of, called a supernova reaction. Everything outside the element of iron, everything heavier, all the gold, all the silver, all of the lead, all the uranium, that's formed in that supernova explosion. A single star will glow as brightly as an entire galaxy, as, as hundreds of billions of stars in that moment of death. And, and that's what you are. That, that is literally what your body is, is that instant of death. You know, it, it is so tempting. I mean, humans have done this for, for, for literally tens of thousands of years to think of the stars as eternal. The stars will all burn out someday. There's only a certain amount of stellar fuel, of hydrogen. The stars are burning through it. And then the stars, as we know them, will all die out in some trillions of years. And the universe will be dark for the rest of time, whatever that means. But think about that. We're actually living in Eden right now. We're living in a time when this, you know, 10 billion year lived thing, the sun, is pouring down free energy. We are using it, we are evolving, we are becoming sentient, we are looking out at the universe. And, and what an amazing thing to think that that's only for a tiny little brief part of the universe's history. And everything else will be dark. It does give you an ownership about how, you know, how wonderful this time is, how wonderful your life is right now, your literal life, but also how wonderful this time in the universe is. And someday I wonder if people will have myths about you know, the days when stars rain down free sunlight and free energy.